Hello, my name is Matt Hansen, and today I'm going to show you how to make an art brush that contains a gradient in Adobe Illustrator CS4. So the first thing we're going to do is launch Adobe Illustrator CS4. And you might be asking yourself, why would I want to create a gradient in an art brush? Well, there are a couple instances where this could be helpful, and I'll show you what I did here. On the layers panel. On layer one, I've already created a simple illustration. I'll zoom in and show you this. What I have here are straight lines, and then at the end, of course, it curves around. And this could be useful if you're making an illustration about pipes, or perhaps you are illustrating a musical instrument such as a trombone or something. Down here on layer two, I've made another simple illustration. Perhaps you were wanted to draw something for a medical illustration, say veins or arteries, and you would want this kind of curved with a gradient. So you can see where this, this can be quite useful. So I'll zoom back out and I'll hide these two layers and click on layer three and we'll just work on a a brand new artboard here. So your first inclination in making this illustration might be to come over here and grab the rectangle tool. And I'm going to click and make the width about 200 point and we'll make the height about 20 point and click OK. And I'm going to zoom in on this down here with the zoom tool so you can see what I'm doing better. Come over here and grab the gradient tool. And I'll click on the gradient, and that of course applies it to this rectangle we just made. But we need to make it look a little bit more 3D. So I'll take my gradient slider and move that to around the 50 point mark. And I'll create another color down here on the end. And I'll double click that, change it to black. Now we'll stroke this with none. Come over here and take the gradient tool in our tool palette. And I'll start at the top and hold my shift key and drag down to the bottom. And now when I deselect this, you can see we have a, a gradient inside a bar that looks very similar to what I just showed you in my illustration. So let's see if we can make this into an art brush. We'll come over here to our brushes palette and I'm going to click the flyout menu here and click on new brush and then when our choices come up here we're going to click new art brush. And when I hit OK, I get this message. The selected artwork contains an element that cannot be used in an art brush. Well, the element that this is referring to is in fact the gradient. There are certain rules inside Illustrator when making an art brush. And you cannot use a gradient, a mesh object, a bitmap image, a mask, or other brush strokes inside a an art brush. So what do we do now? Well there is a workaround and that's what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to come over here to the tools palette and click on the pen tool. I'm going to come back down here underneath this gradient we just created and I'm going to click and hold the shift key and come over here and click again. And now on the tools palette I'm going to fill that with none and stroke with black. I'm going to come over here to my stroke palette and we'll give this a stroke of 20 point so it matches the gradient that we just made above. Now I'm going to take my black arrow tool and having this stroke selected I'm going to hit Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC. 
and that copies this under our pasteboard. And now I'm going to hit Command F or Control F on a PC and paste this line right back on top. So now we have one line on top of another. So with this top line still selected, I'm going to come up here to our back to our stroke palette, and for our weight, we'll make this about two point. And then here on the color palette, I'm going to take this slider here and drag that down to around 7% black. So now you can see here we have one line right on top of another. And what we want to do is come over here to our tools palette and select the blend tool. And we're going to end up blending this anchor point of the top line to the anchor point at the bottom. But the problem is right now, you cannot select them both. You have to move the top one out of the way. So we'll come up here to our tools palette and click the direct selection tool. That's the white arrow tool. And click this top anchor point. Now, you could just move it right out of the way like this and let go. But when you make your gradient, the problem is it might be hard to get this lined up again. So I'm going to undo that, Command Z. And with this point still selected, I'm going to hold my Shift key and arrow this down twice so it's well out of the way. Holding the Shift key, all it does is constrain this and it moves in increments of 10. Or as you can see, if you just arrow it once, it only moves in increments of one point at a time. So now I'm going to draw a marquee around these two endpoints so that they're both selected. And I'm going to come back here, like I said before, and take the blend tool. I'm going to click on this top point here. And then I'm going to come up here and click on the other point for the stroke underneath. And instantly you can see it makes a blend. But we need to get this point back on top. So for that, we're going to come up to the white arrow tool, deselect, and we're going to click back on the anchor point on top and hold the shift key again and arrow that back up into place. So now you can see what we have here. This top illustration and the bottom illustration look almost identical, but they're not. Remember the top one was made of a gradient fill, which wouldn't allow Illustrator to make this as an art brush. And our bottom one is made here with the blend tool. So although they look identical, they are completely different. So now I'm going to take my black selection tool and select the last path we just made and come over here back to our brushes palette and I'm going to select the fly out menu, select new brush and we'll click new art brush again and hit OK and this time you can see it allows us we don't get the error message. I'm going to leave this as it is for now and just accept the defaults. Click OK and you can see over here with our brushes, you can see our new art brush was added to our choices. So now I'm going to zoom back out. And we don't need these anymore, so I'll just select those and delete. Now, if I come over here and click my pen tool, I'm going to click and just draw a path with with rounded curves, and I'll even make it overlap. Now when we come over here to our art brushes and click on the one we just made, you can see it follows right along that path, similar to the illustrations I showed you earlier. And you can even have it overlapping. And then, of course, these paths are still completely adjustable after the fact. And that's how you create an art brush containing a gradient in Adobe Illustrator CS4.